Okay, while I was cleaning down there, I noticed that it looked, and now I don't know if it come from the water pump or not, but I looked like I had a rotted out frost plug. So I've taken the AC unit off the side and uh, gotten down to the frost plug right here. Now, I'm already there, I'm just going to replace it. It's not that expensive, so might as well. I'll show you how to do that. Now, with a punch and a hammer, what you're trying to do is turn the thing sideways and get a hold of it with a pair of pliers. Um, you don't want to knock it in there because it can create a hot spot on the cylinder wall where the coolant isn't flowing anymore. So, you want to take a hammer and a punch and hit it here and try to knock it sideways a bit so you can get a hold of it with a pair of pliers or something like that. There's more than one way to do this, but this way I'm doing it. Now, I've punched it in a bit and you can tell it was really weak. So um, don't panic if it goes inside the block because sometimes you can get your fingers in there and turn it sideways and pull it out. But I have another case that I've left them there and it hasn't hurt anything. Just they tell you that it created a hot spot. But let the antifreeze drain out of there for now and then we'll hammer it. I had the camera on but it's uh, kind of hard to hold the camera and have two hands with a punch and hammer. <laughs> I need like three hands. So we'll let that drain out and we'll try to knock her in there some more. Now you can see mine went in there. Um, and you can try to pry it out a little bit. The screwdriver, and you get a pair of vice grips or pliers on it. it has to come out. Now you can see mine went right in there. I'm gonna try to get her out if I can. Now with these uh, mini channel locks I have here, you can kind of get a hold of the lip and push down on it, and it'll pry it out just like that. You can see that this thing is kind of corroded in there a little bit. That's brass actually. It shouldn't have leaked. When I was hitting on it, it started leaking, so we're putting a new one. I'll show you how to clean that hole up now. You can either use sandpaper, coarse sandpaper, and, and get this hole nice and smooth, or you can use one of these cookie grinder things when the biscuit gets wore down. You can jam it right in the hole. Now, I wish I had two a tripod with me this morning you guys could see this done I'm gonna install a new frost plug and I'm using two hammers one this way now there's all kinds of ways to do this but this way I like if you can get on it hold this one straight and then hit it with the other hammer on the end and drive it in don't drive it in too far though just like that and you can control what side you want to put pressure on to make it go straight by move your hammer around. Now this works here but it might not work in another spot where you can't get at it so there's other ways to put these in. Now reassemble that side.